All right, guys. Um, so today we are showing off the easy A for the Tech Super Saiyan 2 Goku. Um, now he is actually pretty good, especially considering he's an Extreme Z area unit. And um, so we're gonna start off by bringing him down. If you already know what he does, feel free to skip forward in the video a little bit. If you're rock with me, let's go. Um, so his leader skill he gives all types uh, three key and 50% stats, which is not a great leader skill, but it is the best leader skill that you have for the Extreme Z um, area now. So that is one thing to keep in mind because everyone else gives three key and 40%. Uh, so this guy is the leader you want to run. Um, and then on super attack, he raises attack and defense for one turn and causes immense damage to enemy, which is pretty good. Um, and then if you go to his passive, he um, all allies get three key. So that that's pretty cool. He does he is like a key support unit. Um, and then he gets attack and defense plus 77% when performing a super attack. And then he gets an additional attack and defense plus 30%. Um, per Super Saiyan 2 category ally on the same turn, excluding himself. Um, Lynx, he, is, he has Golden Warrior, uh, Saiyan Warrior Race, Super Saiyan, Kamehameha, In Fighter, Prepared for Battle, and Shattering the Limit. Um, and just like most units, he would be better if he had Fierce Battle. Um, categories is on Majin Buu Saga, Pure Saiyans, Goku's Family, Kamehameha, and Super Saiyan 2. Um, so today we're going to show him off on Goku's Family and Kamehameha. Um, Right now we're on Kamehameha, and every single unit on this team, except for this Goku and Gohan, are Super Saiyan 2. So he's going to be getting most of his passive throughout this whole event. What's his defense? His defense is at 92k. That's really good, because that is without him super attacking. Remember, he gets the 77% defense when he performs a super attack, and then he also raises it. <laughs> his defense is going to be really high after he super attacks. I wish there was a way for us to see that, but it's going to be really high. Um... So he does have some support here. He does have like his full passive active here. Um, so so let's see what he gets to. Um, I think next time we see him, we're actually not gonna have his full passive because we're gonna. Okay, so 2.7. That's a pretty good attack stat considering. I mean, like this guy's really old. He's not that great. Um, for me, he was actually my first ever TUR. He was the first SSR that I ever like managed to awaken. Um, so that he kind of does have a special place in my heart for that. Um, cause he was actually, he was 97% before his, like, easy A came out, and the only reason he wasn't 100% is because I didn't really care enough to look at, like, what he did on the Japanese version, like, after his easy A, cause I wasn't sure, like, he had all of his stats and he had everything that he could get, except for crits, additionals, and dodge, cause I was like, I'm, I don't remember what he does, and I don't have the patience to go look it up, so I just... I waited until now. All right, so here he only has is getting the extra 30% from his passive um, because the Goku and Gohan are not Super Saiyan 2 category allies. Um, so his attack stat will go down here by probably a significant amount. His defense, oh, it it actually might stay the exact same now that I'm thinking about it because they give 30% to Goku's family and his passive would have given him 30%. So yeah, 2.75, it stayed the exact same. Okay, <laughs> that's kind of funny. Um... So we've seen him with the support. I kind of want to see him without the support. Um, and just with the full Super Saiyan 2 like allies. And then eventually I also probably do want to see him without any Super Saiyan 2 category allies. Because he's probably going to be pretty underwhelming when that like in that scenario. Um, just because then he only gets like he gives everyone three key. And he um Shoot, he gets 77% attack and defense. I don't know why I spaced out for a second. I was like, what am I doing? Where am I? Who am I? Okay, now I can start talking about this again. Um, all right, another one's going to finish this off here. So, I think next turn, I'm actually going to float off the Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. We've seen him with a lot of support. Um, I think we've seen him with enough support. Is this the last stage? Bardock, if this is the last stage, dang it, it is. Okay. That's, that's fine. I am going to... I mean, I think we're going to finish this off here, actually. I'm not sure if there's anything I can do to stop it. Um, maybe on the Goku's family team, um, we can get a rotation without support, I guess. Um, and on the Goku's family team, there are significantly less Super Saiyan 2 category allies as well. So he will have probably looked a little bit better on this team. I don't know. Over there, they do have LRB Pan, but also LRB Pan directly takes away from his passive. So I don't know how that's, a that's actually going to work. Okay, 2.7 million. Remember, because he does raise attack and defense for one turn, if he got a double super attack, his attack would actually go up. Um, so that that is one part of his kit that we really haven't seen yet. Um, I really wish that he could have gotten supered after he attacked, 
because that would have been probably double digits. Yeah, there's no way we can wait um, all that long. Um, so anyways, now we're going to go over to the Goku's family team, I think. Um, either that, or we might cut back to this team just without any support and see where he's at. Um, either way, we'll be back in a second. Alright, so we're back here, and this is the same team we were on last time, it's just he has no support here. So, I don't know what to expect here, probably like 2.4 if I had to guess, but I mean 2.4 without support is still a good attack stat. Um, do remember, even though this is Super Saiyan 3 Goku, he is still in the Super Saiyan 2 category, so he is activating that part of Goku's passive. 2.2, so, is he? I don't know if he's activating that part of his passive actually. So 2.3 with the additional, definitely good. Now we're just going to cut over to Goku's family team, because that was literally the, the only reason we cut here. Actually, we can see how much this Gohan would do to him. And... Yep, double digits. That's about what I was expecting. Um, but anyways, now we're going to cut over to the Go Goku's family team. Uh, see you there. Alright, guys. Um, so, this is going to be by far the worst attack stat we see in this video. Um, because here, he has no passive active. Well, he, he's obviously going to get the 77% attack that he gets when he performs a super attack, but he's not getting any of the additional part of his passive, um, because remember, for that, there do have to be other Super Saiyan 2 category allies around, um, and on this rotation, there are not. So, and actually, next rotation is exclusively Super Saiyan 2 category allies, that's kind of funny. But, like, whatever this attack stat is, I would say if it's over, like, 1.5 million, it's insanely, like, good considering what parts of this passive are active. 1.43, I'll take it. I mean, remember, he is also a key support unit. He's giving the entire rotation three key. So, I mean, like, he doesn't give any stats. So that's obviously, like, a slight knock against him. But, I mean, a 1.4 million attack stat, it's your bare minimum for a unit that's this old. I mean, like, that's that's pretty good. So here I am going to float off the Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. Uh, because we're going to have B-Pan on rotation next turn. And I'm not going to use our active skill. I'm going to wait till we have the Super Saiyan 2 Gohan on rotation. And then that might be the highest attack stat we see. Um, it depends on how, like, what the difference between him having part of his passive active is with B-Pan's active skill. Because, obviously, if there was another Super Saiyan 2 ally on rotation, um, he would activate that part of his passive. But with, if B-Pan's on rotation, we could activate our active skill. So I'm not sure which one would actually be best for him. Um, but I guess we could see, because on the other team, we did see him with the one support type unit and the other uh, Super Saiyan 2 category ally on the team. So... I guess we'll see. So next turn, his attack stat should be like the exact same as we saw last time. Because there's not going to be another Super Saiyan 2 ally on the team. Um, so we're just going to put him in the middle here. Just so that he comes back. And I mean, really, this turn doesn't really matter. Because it, it's the same thing that we just saw, basically. Um, I mean, really, what else is there to talk about? <laughs> like, this is the first time. I've been recording videos all day. And I, this is the first time where I'm like, I don't know what to say here. Um, that used to happen a lot more, but I remember exactly when it changed, actually. It was because there was this, okay, so yeah, 1.4 million, it stayed the same. Um, but it was one video where I said, um, 13 times in the first 10 seconds, and I just decided, you know what, I'm gonna rant, and I'm gonna ramble, but I'm not gonna say, um, every other word. I still say it a lot. Like, I'm not trying to deny that I say, um... But I don't say it every other word like I did in a video at some point. I don't even remember when it was. That's, is that a bad sign? But um, what are you going to do? So next turn is the turn that uh, we are waiting for. The turn of dreams, if you will. Um, do I need an item? <laughs> the only reason I'm saying that is because I'm kind of, I'm, I'm low-key afraid of LR Super Saiyan 2 Gohan getting supered because he has no defense from his passive and he has type disadvantage here. But I think we should be okay. Just as long as he doesn't get super. And even if he does, I think we have like 500k HP here. And there's no way this Dokkan event would do 500,000 damage. Yeah, like... 500,050... 550,000 damage. Why can I not speak? It's been a long day, boys. And I haven't eaten yet, and it's like 8pm. I gotta, I gotta get the show on the road. We got the dodge. That's clutch. Alright, so I think after next turn... I'm probably just gonna call it a video. Uh, overall, I am pretty impressed with this guy. Out of all of the, like, Super Saiyan 2 Gokus that got an easy A, he's probably the worst, to be honest, but, I mean, he's, I'll tell you right now, he's gonna be my favorite just because, you know, he, I've had him so long. <laughs> um, it was him and the, okay, my, 
not now, thank you. Um, but it was this guy, and the int, I don't know if it was Super Saiyan 2 or Super Saiyan 1 Gohan. Um, he was from the Bi, not the Bio Broly, but Broly Second Cup, ugh, Hiccup, sorry. He was from the Broly Second Coming movie, I remember that. Um, he's int, but, like, this guy and that Gohan were, like, the first two units that I could awaken, and I did them, like, one night after another, and I was like, oh my gosh, I am a Dokkan tuber. It, it, that, that was, like, two or three years before I made this channel, but, like, I felt, like, so powerful. 3.1 million. That's pretty good. <laughs> he is giving the whole rotation key as well with the 3.1 million attack stat. We will take that. So, he is very impressive. Obviously, like, there are probably better options that you have, but, I mean, considering how old he is and how many people probably have him, that that is pretty impressive. Uh, let me know how you guys feel about him. Uh, let me know how you feel about all the easy A's we're getting, because, honestly, I feel like this is probably the best global celebration we've ever had uh, at this point, because think of all of the easy A's we got um, and all of the new content. It's it's just a lot, the, the missions and stuff. So... I mean, anyways guys, if you did enjoy this video, please consider to leave a like, a comment, subscribing to the channel. My name has been Blachel and I will see you guys next time.